हेलो एवरीवन आई एम फीडे इंस्ट्रक्टर एंड अरिना इंटरनेशनल मास्टर ऋषिकेश चौहान वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई हैव ऑर्गेनाइज्ड अ चेस टूर्नामेंट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ माय चेस एकेडमी दैट इज गुरुकुल चेस एकेडमी एंड एज यू कैन सी द टूर्नामेंट विल बी स्टार्टिंग स्टार्टिंग इन थर्टी सेवन सेकेंड्स और फ्यू सेकेंड्स सो आई एल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू द ऑल द राउंड्स सो लेट्स सी राइट नाउ वी हैव थर्टी प्लेयर्स पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन इट and maybe few more players will be joining so i am not sure i have told uh, those players they are on their way so i hope they join so here we are let's get ready just few seconds more and the games will uh, be started okay here we have so we have uh, on the top table the extinguisher against omgada omgada is top seed then on the second uh, board we have uh, nihar against yatiraj then on the third board we have vedant against siddhant verlekar and anvay against inferno that is yash sane then on the fifth board cute dolphin that is our adya patil and she is playing against ojas fene and on the sixth board we have gayatri hedav against atharva atharva is also a strong player so right now let's go through uh, the om omgada's game okay so om has played uh, d4 okay so the time control is 10 plus 5 so that the kids will get enough time i know 10 plus 5 is never enough uh, but at least uh, uh, they won't be playing the blitz tournament or bullet tournament where they don't use their brain so here 10 plus 5 will give them enough time to think enough time to uh, apply their mind so that's why we have kept 10 plus 5 so let's move back let's get back to the other game okay so these are the these are the top 6 boards which are going on so this board let's see the yes uh, Yes, Sunny's game. So uh, here, uh, Anwar is white and he is playing against Inferno. That is just so. This is kind of uh, close Sicilian, you can say. Both the players have developed their pieces, and now they should uh, start breaking the center, or they should start attack on the either wings. I guess this is uh, wrong by Anway because after Bishop into Ya, yeah, this castling is getting uh, broken, and now this knight e5 or even uh, this knight uh, d4 will be strong. Let's move on to the other games. Mm, what we have. all the games are in the starting position as the tournament just got started let's go through this game uh, here gayatri is white and atharva is black white's position uh, looks very nice it, all the pieces are developed there are lot of free space yeah this is a mistake i guess because now uh black can just push the pawn on b5 and he can kick the bishop and if after b5 white bishop goes to b3 then it will be trapped after c4 so here instead of uh, moving this bishop over here gayatri should have played something like bishop e2 bishop e2 was better or maybe she should have captured the knight straight away now she will have to uh, lose more and more moves let's see what she plays ouch and there she goes so either she is going to lose this pawn for free and maybe even atharva will think about kicking the bishop one more time uh, but mostly i guess he, he will capture that free pawn what else do we have over here let's see
Okay. Let's go through Vedant and Siddhant Verlegar's game. So here, uh, Siddhant is white. He's playing against Vedant. Okay. Material is equal. Both the kings are still in the middle of the board. Yeah, but I guess uh, white can castle quickly. Now this looks like a bad move uh, because now this knight is stuck. This knight cannot come out and black. it will take more moves for black to develop his pieces and sort of the uh, king side. Also, he has to keep an eye on this diagonal. So his queen can, uh, cannot move. There can be a later sacrifices coming up. Uh, this is a bad. He sh shouldn't have exchanged uh, knights over here. He should have just simply ca castled. But okay, maybe he's, he has some plan in mind. Let's see. So we'll be taking you through all the games and all the rounds uh, one by one. So please uh, keep checking the games and keep enjoying all the uh, combinations. So the second round has started. Okay, let's see. So on the top table, Gayatri is playing against Arnav. Okay, let's see what is happening. Uh, e4, e5, and f3, and c6. Okay, so it, it was uh, four knights. So both the players have castle. They have developed their uh, pieces. And uh, black looks bit uh, in uh, jumble because few of his pieces are on the queen side, few or few are pieces are on the king side, and then few pieces are sitting in the middle of the board. So there is no coordination between the pieces. For example, look at this rook and this queen. So they are not coordinated. They are no, they are not connected. So white has to do something about that. Okay. Oh yes, I sacrificed a knight for what? Okay, I guess it's a simple uh, straight blunder because the checkmate is not happening that for sure. Because there are only two black pieces on the king side and for white there are a lot of black pieces, uh, white pieces sorry, surrounding the white king. So just with two pieces it will, it will be difficult for black to uh, force the checkmate. You can try something like queen, uh, uh, rook e6 and then maybe rook g6 but it will take time. Because meanwhile, white can play bishop h4, bishop g3 and he can solidify his uh, king side. Yeah, so this is what uh, white is doing. Okay, let's move back. Let's check other games. Okay, so we have uh, Adish playing against uh, Dakshil. Oh, that's nice. So it's a forced checkmate. Okay, great. And Dakshil one. Dakshil is a very good player. He plays a very nice chess. Okay. What we have. Okay, let's move check this game. So this is uh, Yatiraj Fene against Vedant Bharadwaj. Yatiraj is a rated player and Vedant is also a promising uh, player. Okay, what is the material? Oh, Yati is pawn up. Yeti's pieces, again, if you look at the pieces, white pieces are more coordinated. Uh, I think instead of this, uh, white should have played queen e7 because this knight was hanging over here. So even if he captures, then this will come. Okay, here he blundered, I guess. Yeah, he blundered. He lost a piece because he didn't uh, check this... Uh, knight fork and then uh, queen lost he's losing a queen and the bad thing is he's losing a queen with a check so even if black captures knight into queen check and then he will simply capture the rook so here in this whole combination white got a free rook so now white should win this game easily yeah logically he's simply going to push the pawn ahead 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 okay uh, vedan resigned okay let's move on to the next game what do we have over okay uh, let's see this game. So this is Yesh Sane against Kavya Vasa. 
Yes, Sane is also a rated player. Kavya is also a good player, but Kavya plays in bits of bits and pieces. So some on some days he plays really well, and on, and on some days he plays uh, uh, really uh, weak chess or you can say freestyle chess. So let's see how it goes. Right now uh, it's equal. Black has this weakness on d6. It's a backward pawn. Uh, but it looks like white is uh, black is going to cover this weakness by playing uh, knight d4. So knight d4 should save uh, black from defending this weakness. And once this weakness is covered after after knight d4, he can move his rook to maybe on the a5 and start attacking uh, black's uh, sorry white's uh, weakness on a3. So this is black's backward pawn and this is white's backward pawn. Knight d4 is a wonderful square for uh, the knight. Knight is not only blocking the square, blocking the file, but also he is ready to uh, give all these uh, knight folks and checks. Also, he is attacking this rook. Also, he is going to support this pawn. Later on, if uh, black is white is planning to play bishop f1, then this pawn will be supported. Of course, he cannot play that because after uh, knight d4, if he moves the bishop away, then white is dead lost because this check and the queen is gone. Yeah, of course, he is losing this uh, rook also. Mm -hmm. Kavya is getting a very nice position against uh, Yash. Okay. Let's check this. So, this is mind booster against queen b. Mind booster is Advait Kadam and queen b is Anuja. Okay, what is the position? Okay, Anuja is four point, uh, points up. She has more material. Uh, Advait King looks uh, totally lost uh, on this square. He hasn't castled, right? He, he castled, okay. He castled and then black uh, pushed white king on c1. Wow, that's great. Though black has more material, as you can see, both the rooks are just sitting on their square. They are not doing anything. So unless and until black uses these rooks, so it will be difficult for him to win. Or at least it will be difficult for him to win quickly. Again, this is not a strong move. Here he should have played something like this. So he is saving the pawn and at the same time the queen has some activity, some free space. Of course, the king will move over here, but now uh, again there is no coordination between the, uh, these two pieces. Uh, this is a mistake by Advait because whenever you have less material, you should not exchange the pieces. Okay, so she also uh, she also missed this part, and this knight fork is sorry, this knight fork is coming up. Let's see, yeah, very good. Advait got the knight fork. Here, Anuja should have simply captured the queen, exchanged the queen, and then she should have started his, uh, her attack by playing f5. So, f5 after pawn into pawn, rook into pawn, black is clearly winning. But she missed the trick and she allowed her opponent to give her a nice knight fork. So, this game will go till the last uh, second. Yeah, this endgame is very interesting. So it's between Sparsh and Siddhant. Sparsh Gupta is white and Siddhant Verlekar is black. Yeah, of course, it's clearly winning. Uh, Sid Siddhant has this outside passer and by the time King captures the pawn and comes on the other side of the board, he will pick up this pa last pawn and he will just push the pawn head and make a queen. Yeah, exactly that's what is happening. Let's see. Yeah, so now Siddhan should win this game easily as he has a queen. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's check this game. So this is between Vedant Shah and Simran Mote. 
yeah materially uh, vedant is up vedant has two extra points but the position looks very complicated very few pieces uh, i mean just one pair of rook is exchanged okay and she is a piece down okay so for a lost piece she has one just one pawn okay so she must have blundered her uh, piece somewhere so even black's pieces are sitting very badly so this bishop is doing nothing uh, on this g7 square and to defend as a uh, bishop the rook is stuck and correctly white is attacking the rook so it's like removing the defender once this defender is uh, moved white is going to get this bishop for free so it will be very problematic for uh, black to uh, defend in this position let's move back okay so this is uh, ishan kulkarni against anvay shinde okay anvay has got a uh, passer and okay he's playing in a nice uh, rook and pawn in game so he is going to capture the pawn he should capture this pawn for this and then he will have this outside passer on a file yeah rook uh, in games are always tricky agreed okay okay so till now anuva is doing uh, fine he is activating the king and maybe the simple way is to move the king towards the passed pawn save the passed pawn or uh, attack the rook and once the rook is moved then he can push the passed pawn ahead and then to stop the queen uh, white will have to sacrifice his rook and it will be an easy win but but for that he should move his king towards the pawn he is not going to checkmate white king on this side so here anwe is just wasting time he should have captured with the uh, this thing. okay so his pass pawn is gone he got two uh, extra pawns but now he will have to fight hard simply put the rook in the middle he cannot exchange he should have exchanged because then he can, after uh, rooks are exchanged he can simply push the pawn ahead and in four moves he is getting his queen now black has to play accurately otherwise white will start eating up all the pawns and maybe his game can end in a draw he should have come out so it's a end game lesson your king must be active in the end game so that the king can uh, do all the attacking and defend defending duties let's move to the next game how many games are remaining okay still six games are going on okay so yeah check this game this must be interesting this is cute dolphin that is adya patil against bs bangar bs bangar is our arjun singh so both the players are very tiny tiny uh, uh, age wise and height wise also so adya is two points up she is piece up basically and her pieces are all well coordinated knight and uh, queen are attacking the king side and this rook is also trying to enter uh, towards the king side from seventh rank and there is one little bit problem for adya that is her back rank is weak so she has to be very careful because if her rooks uh, are not defending the back rank uh, she can be uh, uh, checkmated on the uh, first try so she should keep that thing in mind right now she is worried about saving the pawn and i don't think there is any way to save the pawn yeah is there a quick checkmate yeah i guess so check king f7 and uh, okay she can uh, move over here right okay so right now there is not a ch quick checkmate yeah, there is a quick checkmate ouch 
yeah the king will move this chair king goes inside and then knight e6 so to stop the checkmate here black will have to sacrifice the queen the other is calculating all the mating patterns arjun singh is in bad position because of this pawn this is a center pawn and as uh, you can see the center pawn is sitting still sitting on the starting square so it shouldn't be that way you must use your center pawn to control the center Let's see what she plays. Are she missed knight e six d six? Sorry. I hope she doesn't blunder in time trouble. Okay, the same thing is happening. King over here. That is King F8, and then Rook H8, uh, Queen H8 checkmate, and the checkmate is coming up. R is she missed the checkmate? Sorry, it, it wasn't a checkmate. Queen can come inside, but then after uh, Queen H8 check, Queen G8, she could have played Queen into F6 check. Okay. Finally, yeah, it's a force, and queen into queen is made. Okay, well played, Adya. Hard luck, Arjun Singh. How many games are remaining? Okay, three games are remaining. Uh, let's check this game. Uh, this is uh, Aradhya. Aradhya is black against the extinguisher. I forgot who is extinguisher. There's lots of pieces, lots of extra material. Even the checkmate is coming up from somewhere very soon. Okay, forced to move there, and then maybe this check. Okay, he's he's happy to capture the queen. Arab, there's a lot of time left, so almost six minutes. So extinguisher is low on time and low on material also. So Aradhya should win this game very easily. Okay, let's check what is the uh, position between Kavya and Yash. Okay. Tricky end game. Pawn push. So it will fix. Are you should have moved this pawn? So it, it would have fixed this f2 pawn. Okay. So both the players uh, are having an outside passer. Of course, white has two passers over here. Though white is pawn up, it's difficult to convert this into a win because it's a rook uh, and pawn endgame. Rook endgames are always very difficult. Uh, by giving this check, black is allowing white to come up. Right now, he cannot come up because of the two pawns, but he will. Maybe he can go over here. Yeah, exactly. If he kills this pawn over here, then black is going to lose because white has this outside passer. And while black king is busy in stopping the passer, king will come here and pick up this pawn for free. Okay. Yep. And this is a loss now. 
is check king up one more check king is forced out and then promote the queen that's a simple plan for white any more games remaining okay just this two game is remaining okay so we have how many players on two on two so siddhant verlekar ojas fene dakshil soham yatiraj om uh, arnav and anuja these players are on two on two and if yash wins today or yash wins this round then even yash will be on two on two there are total six rounds this should end in a draw because there is no one defending this pawn Yeah, he should have simply played this instead of giving that check. Again, this move was wrong. He should have moved to the uh, towards the other side because black has to stop this pawn. So now he has is uh, behind in by two moves, and it's a mate. Kavya missed a chance. So third round is going on. Let's check the games. So we have Ojas Fene against Yati Raj. Then, okay, let's see this position. It looks interesting. Material is equal, uh, but White's king is more exposed than Black's king. White has this pass pawn on d4, but uh, he has to uh, take care about uh, his pieces. Oh, he lost a rook straight away. Yeah, Soham is going to win this game. That's for sure, because uh, being a rook up, Soham is not going to let this game sleep. So this game is done already. Instead of this, he should have played rook f6 and rook d6. That would be quicker. So now you will just keep pushing the pawn ahead, ahead. So this is just a waste of time. Now we will play this. Then then he will go on e7 and then he will capture the pawn. This is all time consuming. So rook f6 and rook d6 was uh, very quick. Let's move on to the next game. So let's say this. Okay, so this is Dakshil against Atharva. Material is equal. This knight is very strong, but it's hanging right now. Also, uh, White can try and put his knight on this square. So this d4 square looks very interesting or very strong for Black Knight. But it will take a lot of time for black to uh, move his knight uh, to d4. Okay, good. Where he should move the knight? Uh, he can try playing something like rook b1, b8 and then rook d8. And then maybe rook d2. Black needs to activate his rook. There is one more uh, way to do it. He can play a5 and then a4. So he can start disturbing this pawn structure on the queen side. But even after uh, uh, playing a4, a5 and a4, uh, after pawn, pawn into a, b3, a into b3, 
before that black white is going to play uh, something like uh, rook f3 so that way this rook is not that active so sooner or later black has to decide how to activate the rook okay let's check other games Okay, what we have uh, on the top board, it's Ojas Fene against Yatiraj Fene. Both the players are cousin brothers. Mm, this looks like uh, black is getting this pawn, but it's not real. Because after rook into uh, d5, rook into d5, sorry, rook into d5, rook into d5 and knight into d5, white is going to play rook d1 and then he will win back this d6 pawn. So white is just, black is just thinking whether to open the D file or not. Okay. <laughs> they shared the point. Okay. So I was thinking about the, the same. Maybe they will simply uh, take a draw. Okay. Let's check this game. So this is Kavya against Twisha. Twisha is also a brilliant chess player. Okay, what is the uh, material status? Okay, Twisha is five points up. Oh. Yeah, but she is low on time. Let's see. Yeah, but it, it looks all uh, very simple. Just start picking up the pieces. Okay, she cannot do that. Oh, I, I, I missed. This checkmate is happening right now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, what can be done? There is a wild try. Yeah, that that was forced. You cannot play bishop into queen because then rook into rook will come, and then now there is no longer checkmate happening. Okay, this will also uh, this will do. So max to max one check will come, but instead of giving a check, white should capture the bishop for free. This is bad because now uh, white has to save the queen and then that way this chance is gone. Okay, is there a checkmate happening after this? Let's see. Uh, let's see if he saves the bishop, but where? Because then the idea is to play queen f6 check, king f8 and then rook h8 will be a checkmate. Mm. Yeah, the mate will follow. Let's see if Kavya finds this checkmate. Oh, he missed. And Kavya missed the simple checkmate. Material wise position is equal though white has a queen black has enough minor pieces and also he has two rooks She should have uh, moved this in a, here Ouch Ouch and it's checkmate on next move queen into pawn eight and he missed this is comedy of errors going on there is no point in checking this game both the players are making so many mistakes again he missed uh, even Trisha missed this checkmate I hope okay finally he got the checkmate whoosh Let's see. 
okay let's check this game uh, nothing much left in this game so this is uh, Sri Ram against Vedant Sri Ram is white and Vedant is black Vedant is a rated player by the way okay so let's move on to the next game Mm, let's check okay only four games are going on oh okay so maybe let's check this game now this bishop is badly pinned this is a, a one pin this is another pin so this is you can say absolute pin and there we have a relative pin so here white black should have played this move because later on he can simply give this check and then pick up this rook ah yes wins aradya blundered rook into rook check king into rook and bishop into rook and now spur should win so that way even if you are uh, materially up even if you are winning you have to keep your focus all the time you have to concentrate all the time until your opponent resigns or you uh, win by checkmate the same thing happens in that game let's check this game so this is between Tanay Savant and Adya Tanay is white and Adya is black okay uh, okay Adya is five points up okay, she is always materially up but what is happening right now uh, okay this rook is pinned so that way she is going to lose two points over here but uh, that wouldn't be a problem uh, one more problem is that black is uh, white is going to play bishop into knight a uh, bishop uh, sorry queen into bishop so this d6 bishop is hanging because rook is pinned again this is an absolute pin so the pinned piece can never move so Adya should move this rook uh, bishop away Maybe she can play something like bishop into a3. Okay, bishop into knight is also fine. Yeah, actually bishop into knight is fine. Yeah, very uh, good Adya. Brilliant. Capture the pawn. Capture either of the pawn. Achha, oh, sorry. I am so sorry. There is a check. Okay. So she must capture the piece. Yeah, right. this was wrong because the yeah, pawn is gone again the rook is under attack uh, one more very important thing is that the back rank is weak so white cannot play rook into pawn ouch and the checkmate will follow Adda won't miss it yeah definitely Adda is not going to miss this simple checkmate well done Adda okay so okay last game mind booster that is Advait against uh, BS Bangar Arjun Singh is six points up Arjun Singh has lot of pieces but can he use this pieces well he should have uh, given this check at least keep your opponent busy in something uh, blacks both the rooks are on the seventh rank so that way white has to be very careful because otherwise uh, game may end in a draw uh, in, in end in a checkmate okay so maybe uh, Arjun wants to exchange the pieces or maybe he wants to just push the pawn ahead and promote a queen okay playing rook e1 is a mistake over here because then black will get this perpetual check 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 and the game will end in a draw so white has to be very careful maybe he can move the knight so okay he cannot move the knight because this check and the rook is lost ouch
there was a plan by the way after rook uh, d4 whenever he plays the uh, rook c3 he can play uh, rook a3 yeah now he can play rook a3 because it's not a checkmate uh, knight will come in the middle but again it's all uh, very um, complicated whenever there are two rooks on the seventh rank the other player has to play very carefully Oof. I would suggest just move the knight away. Yeah, that's it. And just start pushing the pawn. Put your rook over here. So there will be no checks coming up. Leave this pawn. Play rook e4. And then start pushing the pawn. And it's done. If he's thinking about saving the pawn, then he will be checkmated. Let's see what he plays. Okay. Okay, that is fine. Always piece, uh, keep your pieces supported. As you can see right now, no check is coming up. So put one rook over here, put other rook over here. So there are no further checks and just start pushing these pawns one by one. Maybe Arjun Singh is uh, cross-checking all the tactics. Okay. Okay. okay, so now one rook is gone, only one rook is remaining and it's very difficult for uh, black to do anything. He can simply develop his pieces or uh, make his pieces active and then start pushing the passed pawn. In the end game, start pushing the passed pawn. Again, this is a wrong move. You should have, uh, you, should, you should always keep your pieces active, especially king in the end game. This is all over now. How many players are there on 100% uh, score? Okay, Inferno, Om, Soham. Okay, three players are on four on four. And then they are trailed by uh, Yatiraj, Ojas and Dakshil. So they are on two and a half out of three. Okay, so it's checkmated. So we are in the middle of round 4, let's start checking the games, is there any, anything interesting going on, there are other games also but right now we can see only these many games, ok let's start with the top board, material is, e material is equal, ok, what else do we have? Hmm. Here I guess black should play king h8 and then maybe he can try uh, for this break. Uh, after this break his pawn will be weak but then otherwise he has no way to uh, launch any counter attack right. If you can play uh, e6 why not e5 because after e5 this knight will also come into the play. Okay. these people they have played with each other so many times and surprisingly yes she is leading the tally with a score of 33 and a half against 18 and a half wow okay 
ओके दैट्स अ गुड मूव तो सडनली ब्लैक नाइट्स आर वेरी एक्टिव ब्लैक्स नाइट लुक्स लुक वेरी थ्रेटनिंग Is there any four coming up? No, right? Okay, this game will uh, be going on and on. Let's check other games. Let's see this. Okay, we have uh, Rushil playing against Anuja. Rushil is white. Anuja's position is bad, though she is only uh, one pawn down, but this uh, passer is very uh, threatening. Rook a7, okay, king up, okay, Oh, straight away he can uh, he could play the uh, promote the queen. Nah? Ouch! I missed that. Whew, this is what happens when you are uh, shifting or uh, switching between the games. Okay, this is as good as over for Anuja. So we have Adya playing against Siddhant. And Adya is five points up as usual. Okay, it's her move. Okay, she's playing very nicely. Uh, she could have exchanged the bishop. Okay, Siddhant missed the rook or what? How can you miss the rook? Could have played uh, uh, rook a7, right? Okay, so now she is seven points up. She should move the knight straight away and then maybe she can give check later on. So moving the knight to e4 is logical. So Adya should win this game. So let's see this game. Vedan Shah against Kavya. Okay, material is equal. Both the rooks are on their seventh rank. But this is opposite color bishop. So black has a white square bishop and uh, white has dark square bishop. So if the rooks are exchanged, then uh, if the if the rook gets exchanged, then this game should end in a draw. Yeah, but that's one check is there and but nothing more than that. Even if he plays rook behind the passer, he's going to push it upon head and the pawn is safe. On the other hand, white has to, uh, sorry, black has to worry about his pawns. Okay. Uh, here he cannot play f3 because simply he will play bishop into f3. But he can play king g3. King g3 is a good move. To save the pawn, to save the b7 pawn, white can, uh, black cannot play bishop c8, or otherwise he will lose. He will lose the bishop after rook check. There is no way white is going to exchange the rooks. You should simply start capturing the piece, uh, pawns. So even if there are uh, opposite color bishop endgame, if the material difference is huge, then it will end in a uh, win for the player having more uh, points or more material.
Okay, now now you should play rook uh, bishop c8 because if he pins the uh, bishop, black can always unpin it. But now there there is one other problem. After this pinning and unpinning, black white can play king h4 and this pawn is lost. Or maybe not. Uh, of course, white uh, black cannot play pawn uh, g6 because he will lose f6 pawn. But there is a way. So rook e8, king h4, and then there will be bishop d7. So mm -hmm. After rook into rook and bishop into rook, this pawn will be supported. But maybe white won't play. Okay, white played that. So this is the only move left now. Let's see what he plays and then we'll switch the board. Oh, he sacrificed the pawn. Oh, well done, well done. He cannot capture the pawn because the check is coming up and the rook is lost. And Vedant missed a simple tactic. Okay. How many games are going on? Okay, five games more. Let's check this game. This is between uh, Anway and uh, Arunav. Arunav is white, Anway is black. Material is equal. Material is equal, but uh, white is going to lose this pawn after this check and the pawn is lost. Should I be given check over here? White black is trying to uh, capture pawns on the queen side. Yeah, so now he's not getting. He's still st he's still getting the pawn by attacking the knight. But then it will take him for some more moves to that. Okay, he's not at all interested in uh, capturing this outside passer. So maybe black wants to capture all the pawns from this side, and he can start uh, pushing his pawn ahead. Okay. That's interesting. Let's see how it goes. It's only four games are going on, right? Yeah. So let's move back to the top table where Yash is playing against Tom. Home is four points up. Home got a free rook. How come? Okay, there's a checkmate coming up. Oh. Oh, that's not very nice. So, that's why black is thinking for so long. How to stop this checkmate? What about playing uh, queen to e7? Will it help? Because there is this bishop a3 is also coming up. This bishop is also good on this diagonal. And right now there are no uh, easy checks coming up. So this knight is uh, covering all the checks. Even no checks from this uh, file. Queen e7 looks logical. Yeah. Queen c6 wasn't that good because of queen e5 check and then rook will enter the attack by from d6. Now white has to be careful about this rook d8 later on. 
So for example, if we play something like uh, queen e, uh, d5, then this rook move is threatening. Because after this move, white is forced to exchange the uh, pieces. Okay. Other games are done. Okay, no, it's still going on. Okay, white got his queen back. Oh. That was, that's bad. Bad in the sense, white didn't, uh, black didn't uh, defend uh, very well. He lost uh, the rook just like that. Let's see. Okay. Ouch. Again, you can say comedy of errors. First, uh, Vedant blundered. Then, Kavya returned a favor by blundering a full rook. And now, Vedant is going to win this easily. Okay, what happened over here? Let's see. So, after, uh, yeah, Queen e7. Okay, okay. 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 So right now we can say that uh, Ohm is exchange up and now all, is, all the checkmate uh, threats are gone. He should win. Of course, white has this passed pawn on uh, d5, but it will be very difficult for him to uh, push the pawn ahead. Rook e4 is coming up. White must, uh, black must find a way to uh, develop his pieces or activate these pieces. At least a queen. Rook can remain on this file to stop the passer. So maybe he can play something like this. Uh, yeah, this is also fine, but it gives a free check and the pawn is gone. So maybe he's inviting that check so that he can attack the queen and get uh, one extra move. Queen b5 is correct so that he cannot play queen into pawn. Otherwise the rook is lost. Yeah, right. Maybe rook b1, rook b8, sorry. Rook b, okay. There is something happening behind. Oh, that thing is pinned. Okay. How can he support? He cannot play uh, king f2 because of this check. Yeah, the knight is lost. Now he's a full piece up. He was uh, exchange up, but now he's full piece up. There's no perpetual coming up. Is this the last game? Yeah. This is the last game going on of, of the fourth round. You can simply start pushing the pawn. So he can think about promoting the queen and at the same time uh, he can th uh, think about checkmating the king by weaving the checkmate, uh, mating net around the king. Yeah, it's mated. So fifth round will start in some time. So we are in the middle of the fifth round. Total six rounds are there. Okay. 
so yeah, on the top board uh, om white and yetiraj black om is already exchanged up but this knight looks very promising this knight on e4 is very strong Uh, maybe white should try playing c4 so that this knight can become a bit uh, weak okay is he going to sacrifice the knight or is he going to simply move the knight maybe knight into c3 okay that's a good move Let's check the other games. This game is almost done. Yeah, check this. Let's check this game. This is Vedant, Shah, White, and Soham, like what black. Uh, material is roughly equal. Okay, oh, Soham is a pawn up. Yeah, Soham got this wonderful knight on uh, d4. So you can say this is a real octopus knight. Then Knight has all the eight squares available. That way. Ouch! He missed badly. Queen into f7. It's not a checkmate, but it's not good for black. Okay, he captured with the knight. Is there a checkmate coming up? Yup. If he saves the rook, then knight h6 is the checkmate. It's a really uh, bad uh, miss from uh, Soham. Instead of moving this knight on uh, on d8, he should have moved the other knight. Yeah, so this is forced literally to stop knight h6 checkmate. But then the exchange is gone. When you have so much time in hand, it's the time control is 10 plus 5, and there are 8 minutes left on your clock. And if still you are uh, playing so quickly and missing such simple, simple moves, then what's the point uh, of playing a tournament? We play a tournament so that we can improve. And we'll try to, we have to try and minimize the mistakes. You can make a mistake or normally you make a mistake when you have a uh, very less time left on the clock when you are in time crunch and in that time pressure you uh, make some uh, weak move or even blunders. So, but when you have 8 minutes left on your clock and you are um, uh, missing such simple moves then it's not acceptable. Okay, let's check the this game. Okay, this is Atharva against Siddhant. Material, material is equal. Both the rooks are exchanged. So by the look of it, uh, we can say that white species are more actively placed. Especially this black bishop is not doing anything right now. And so does this knight on g3. Here, maybe uh, why should try playing something like uh, ng e2? Yeah, so that get your pieces uh, coordinated. If your pieces are coordinated, if your pieces are active, then only you can find some active plan. Otherwise, your pieces will just keep on moving from this square to that square without any proper plan. I have no idea where this knight is going. Maybe he wants to play bishop f6. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, oh. What I was thinking, uh, white should try and enter black's position by uh, playing queen a5 and b6. Nothing is happening right now, but then uh, black should be very careful because queen is so close to his army.
here black has two bishops and white has two knights so if the position is blocked then white is better if the position remains blocked then white is better and if uh, black opens the position then uh, he will be better because he is having a bishop pair one more uh, thing about uh, playing against knights is do not let your opponent's knight near you uh, uh, to come near your position because if the knights knights are a very short range piece so if they cannot come near to your pieces they cannot attack so here siddhant has sacrificed a uh, bishop for two pawns but again there is no checkmate okay so he is trying to place maybe queen h5 knight h5 sorry but this can be stopped easily by playing bishop f6 because after bishop f6 even this uh, knight is under attack and this g7 square where from where white is planning to give checkmate is covered also uh, white should be careful because there is a back rank his back rank is weak so back rank checkmate uh, can happen okay yeah so where are we now okay so this is a game between uh, queen b that is anuja and aditri so anuja is 6 points up and she may get this uh, bishop also okay so she chose to save the bishop and gave the queen for free again if so much time is left on the clock and if you still play in a hurry and make such totally stupid moves or totally bad moves then what's the point in playing chess okay let's not uh, check this comic game okay let's see this so this is uh, tanay sawant against arya salastekar okay so this is also a quick checkmate okay what else we have four games remaining um, let's check this so this is rushil against arnav arnav is three points up arnav is a piece up but uh, black pieces are not active so these two pieces are definitely not doing anything over here on the other hand these heavy pieces lined up on uh, these lines looks very threatening getting the knight here was a bad move i guess this knight was wonderful on this square he was targeting this backward pawn he was supported by the pawn this was the wonderful a wonderful square for the knight now you should move this knight away what's between okay oh om is rook up so om was exchange up and then i guess om uh, captured a free piece and he uh, became uh, rook up uh, there is no perpetual coming up right it doesn't look that way no it's right to play but just uh, white is checking if any perpetual check is coming up or not is always better to play this pieces are connected the pieces are not hanging and then he can think about moving the king uh, on a safe square 
once the checks start. So then is getting his checkmate or not? Okay, he had, is getting his uh, piece for uh, piece back for sure, or maybe not. Why? Because black can play bishop c8, and black can uh, pin this pawn. Oh, he missed bishop c8 because now queen into queen, bishop into queen, and black is still losing this knight. It's still uh, a full piece up, or we can say a piece for two pawns. But it's a bishop pair, the position is open, this pawn is hanging, so he is forced to play knight c3. Oh, he missed that altogether. Bishop into b2, and then a3 will fall. Yeah, it's logical that in the end game you need to activate your king, but not uh, at the cost of your pawns. Or not at the cost of your material. Three games remaining. Let's focus on this top board. Om is rook up, but uh, he is short on uh, time. Ouch. Is that a perpetual? Yeah, you can move over here, right? Run away from here. Yeah. For this reason, I wanted white to play this. So that his queen can control the position in a better way. She can block the checks. She can give this discovered check. Okay. Rook d2. Rook e2. Sorry. He should play rook e2. So first focus on saving all the checks. Okay, this is the last game. Now two more games are still going on. This is the most interesting game right now. The white is winning because of that extra rook. Uh, he has to be uh, careful about this perpetual. And Om is also on time trouble. So, so Om is having more material but less time. Of course, there are 5 seconds increment and Om is a uh, is an experienced player so he can manage this time well is Yeti going to offer a draw or is Om going to offer a draw or they will just keep playing this till the time runs out or Finally, it will be a draw after say 50 moves. Okay. Okay, these people are still fighting. So we have. Uh, yeah, Anuja is clearly winning. She has a queen and rook extra. She should win very quickly. Uh, even uh, Atharva should also win. Uh, it's done. Atharva won. So only two games are going on. So this Anuja's game should over very soon. But then this uh, top board uh, 
game will keep going on and on. Now Ohm is trying to find another way to uh, stop all the checks. Is he going to lose on time? Check again. And now he will uh, make few moves quickly to gain that uh, extra uh, 5 minutes cushion. 5 seconds cushion, sorry, not 5 minutes. Yeah, they are going for a draw. They won't offer a draw. They won't offer, yeah. They are best friends. So they will keep on playing and they will wait for their opponent to offer a draw. Okay, so the five, fifth round uh, ended over here. So the last round will start in some time. This is the sixth and the final round of the tournament. So this tournament is uh, organized by Gurukul Chase Academy for uh, its, uh, for its uh, students. So let's uh, go and check the games. So on the top board we have Omgada against Soham. So we can see the, here Om is leading with four and a half points and Yatiraj is just behind him with four points and he is uh, accompanied by four other players who are on four points. So there is a tough uh, uh, event going on. So if, if Om uh, drew this game then he may not come first. So if Om Gada wants to come first, he has to win this game, that's for sure. Of course, everyone plays for a win. Let's start checking the games. Okay, let's start with this. So this is Adish against Vedant. It is the starting position. Yeah, this bishop looks very odd because if uh, black attacks the bishop with pawns, then bishop has no way to go. Of course, of course, he can move over here on d5, but then what black can do? Black can block the d5 and then he can start pushing this uh, a6 and b5 and the bishop is gone. So it's a very uh, bad way to uh, block your bishop by your own pawns. So this is uh, Dakshil against Rushil. Dakshil is white, Rushil is black. Okay, let's see. So this both the knights are uh, very strong. Uh, the position is equal. The only difference is the bishop. White's bishop is a good bishop and black's bishop is a bad bishop. Also, there is this extra uh, nice or strong square for a white knight. So white can try something like knight c4 and knight d6. Okay. Yeah, so maybe he wants to play f4. But right now f4, f4 won't work because of this knight fork. So to stop this knight fork, white has played this rook e1. And now he will uh, continue with f4. Or he should continue with f4. Let's see. Black, white should not capture the knight because this bishop is a good bishop. And also after this knight is captured and black will capture with the pawn and that way uh, black's bishop will be and this is a free pawn. Okay, Rushil blundered. This queen is sitting on very uh, odd looking square. Okay, now there is a passer coming up. Let's check other games. Yeah, 
अथर्व एंड उजस फेणे ओके जस्ट दर्ली वी आर अर्ली इन टू द गेम एटीन मूड्स दिस नाइट लुक्स वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग कंपेर्ड टू दिस बिशप दिस नाइट हैज स्टॉप्ड ऑल द एक्टिविटी ऑफ ब्लैक्स बिशप सो मे बी वाइट ब्लैक कैन थिंक अबाउट एक्सचेंजिंग द नाइट बट देन this other bishop will uh, become very strong he moved the knight away i don't know why because now he can play bishop b5 and he will exchange of this strong knight that knight e2 is a mistake he shouldn't have played knight e2 yeah of course or just going to miss uh, such uh, nice moves Okay, what's happening over here on the second board? So Yatiraj is playing against Arnav. But uh, okay, Arnav is pawn up, but his knight looks trapped. Kind of, there is no way for the knight to move right. Okay, he can do that. Uh, white can impass this pawn but he should not impass because of course he got a free piece over here so maybe arno made a few mistakes in the opening and that's why arno is having this horrible uh, looking position is totally horrible because king is stuck uh, in the center queen is uh, on this uh, unusual c8 square pieces are not doing much so we can simply line up the rooks over here and it's a checkmate it may not be a checkmate right now we can do something with uh, keeping uh, his rooks on the open file so again uh, yatis uh, doing the nice correct thing exchange the pieces when you have extra material he has a full piece up he's he has three bishop okay Let's move on to the next game. Okay, we have Queen Dolphin, Queen Dolphin and uh, Kavya. So Adya is playing White against Kavya. Uh, for a change, Kavya is pawn up because, uh, as we have seen in previous games, Adya was material uh, materially up. She missed something. She should have captured. Oh, okay, okay. I am so sorry. The Queen will. Uh, queen, uh, queen will capture the bishop. Yeah. Okay. This position is interesting. let's move on to the next game okay so this is uh, queen b and anway so anuja is playing against anway and material is equal so so far so good oh that was great but what after uh, knight h5 okay after knight h5 black can play queen g4 queen g5 sorry Queen g4 is good. Queen g5 is good. Why I'm jumbling the squares? Yep. And now uh, White has to save the queen. Oh, sorry, uh, knight. If he plays uh, g3, then the rook is lost. And if he moves the knight, then queen into uh, g2 is a checkmate. So maybe. He can play king h2 because after king h2, uh, if black captures the knight, then white can capture the bishop. But white missed. So here black is getting a rook for a bishop. Okay, let's move on to the next game. Okay, om one already. That's great. Mm, which game we haven't? Checked. 
अथर्व ओजस डन आदिश वेदांत डन ओके लेट्स चेक द अदर प्लेयर्स लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द लास्ट ही इज स्टिल प्लेइंग तनय कृष्णा सिद्धांत दे आर स्टिल प्लेइंग देन क्वीन बी काव्य दिस ओके दिस पीपल आर द टॉप हाफ लेट्स चेक वन ऑफ द गेम्स sorry maybe we can watch twisha's game okay so here tanay is playing against twisha and okay twisha is clearly winning she has one queen and a rook and this should be a quick checkmate okay this check and then mate follows okay good okay let's get back to the top tables what's the position in this uh, game oh yatiraj is 7 points up What else do we have? Let's check out this game. Uh, Rushil against Takshil. Again, Takshil is a piece up. Uh, Rushil is in a bad position because this Rook 8 is also very strong. So he has to do something about Rook 8. He cannot do anything about Rook 8 basically. Because even if he plays this, Rook 8 is unstoppable. Black cannot capture because the rook is pinned so max to max what he can do he can capture and he can lose the bishop sorry uh, he can capture the bishop. oh oh that was brilliant but instead of doing that he should have uh, he miscalculated totally because what i am saying is uh, let's see yeah here rook into rook pawn into rook queen bishop into rook and then uh, rook b8 check and the bishop is lost so that way white uh, would be a clear rook up but now he missed the chance he's still winning he's not losing he still has that exchange up he still has this outside passer so white should win Okay. We simply push the pawn and then he will kick the bishop away. So this game is also done and dusted. Five games more. Okay, so what we have over here? Uh, okay, Simran is playing against Siddhant. Siddhant is black. Siddhant has a passed pawn, but it is a rook file passer. And also, the king is uh, not in front of the pawn. It doesn't make any difference when it's a file passer. This game is going to end in a draw, that's for sure. Unless the king comes out. If white wants to draw this game, white must keep the king on uh, these two squares. So just play this, let him push the pawn, just keep on moving the king and it will be a draw very soon. Okay, let's check this game. Anway against Queen B. Uh, yeah, Queen B blundered something, I guess. She was winning, right? Let's go back a little bit. Okay, she... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. She missed that uh, King X2 move. Okay, okay. Just now I uh, remembered. Okay. So, it's clear exchange down for uh, Queen B. Then what we have over here in Adish against Vedant, material is equal, 
both the kings are marching towards opponent's pawns but black king is stopped by the rook and the pawn but on the other hand this white king can enter yeah this is good again i am not sure if any of the players can find a to win that quickly in this because the rook pawn endings uh, being very difficult uh, need lot of uh, study and an understanding of the position so maybe he will start picking up the pawn or maybe he will pick up the a2 pawn first and then he will try to capture this if he is not getting b3 pawn maybe he will simply push the pawn and then create a passer from b5 so black must create a passer if he cannot create a passer on the queen side then in that time black is uh, white is going to uh, capture this pawns one by one okay so we have uh, the clear winners over here so om gada is uh, the winner of the open category with 5.5 out of 6 hetiraj is on 5 points so he is second and yash will be third okay that's great and there are uh, age category prizes also so we have three age categories under 8 under 11 and under 14 yeah uh, okay they are still playing then here what is the status of queen b okay uh, q dolphin is in bad position Kavya is going to win because of that extra uh, exchange. He is going to shift the rook on the king side and maybe he can create some mating net around the king. Let's stick to this game for some time. So first, look into pawn, and then capture the other pawn. Yeah. Or don't even capture this pawn. You can continue with uh, rook a3 or even rook b2. Rook b2 looks fine. So that way he can keep an eye on this pawn also. Because after rook a3, he may play rook sorry rook b1, and that way he is not getting this pawn for free. if he goes for this pawn then white can play rook a1 okay this is also good this is uh, what we discussed earlier right so black must try and create a passer from uh, this file so that white will be busy in stopping the passer and meanwhile black can uh, have enough time to capture these other pawns Still not a draw. Let's see. Okay. Why Simran is thinking there is nothing else to play. She has to play this. Maybe she is disconnected. No idea. So there is no other move left for White to play. Okay, the passer is gone. Oh, ouch! Now this should end in a draw. Now, what what black should uh, try over here? Black should try and move the king uh, through this way. Yeah. 
that's the only option left now this s3 pawn is unsupported so you should go and uh, target this pawn but well played adish so here white may try and create a passer on the h file by playing h5 is this the only game left no two more games are going on this game is just stuck and what do we have over here in uh, adya and kavya oh the exchange is gone adya was exchange down or pawn down she was exchange down right where did she miss this oh she got this bad fork ouch ouch Cleared move by Adya. So after this c4, this d6 pawn is a backward pawn. Though there are not many pieces left to use this, use the backwardness of that pawn. Okay. have pushed the pawn head and create a passer check king e2 another check and the pawn is lost yeah i guess he got this Adya should have simply pushed the pawn ahead, pawn into pawn, pawn into pawn. Now she has a pass pawn. She has a, uh, she would have an ad advanced pass pawn. And there is one more check coming up. Ouch! So she is losing all these pawns with check. Uh, yeah, this is a mistake, I guess, because this check is coming up. This check and the F2 pawn is gone. Yep. She won't miss this. But I'm not saying this is a winning. Okay, she captured that pawn. Oh. Should Kavya try this? No. Okay, Kavya has his outside passer. So again, Kavya should win with outside passer and having two extra pawns. So let's move back to the first table. Oof, okay, so Adish has two extra pawns and he is fighting for a draw. Oh, sorry. Uh, Vedant is fighting for a draw. I'm sorry. Okay, he lost one pawn in the double attack. Again, this is very difficult for a white to uh, force a win in uh, this position. He has to go inside somewhere. Maybe on h7 or h8. Look into pawn. And again, he can push the pawn then, but how will he get his king out? There is no way he can get his king out. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. And they lost her queen. So, okay, so this is a painful uh, for Adya.
the same ended in a draw oh, yes okay so we have just this one game one interesting game left there is one more game but uh, left but its game is already done okay this finding it difficult to force a win because I don't think there is any win in this and that rook file pawn is making matters uh, worse for him if it's some center pawn some center file pawn pass pawn then uh, maybe he can force a win but uh, I don't think there is any win in this rook file passer And it just should end in a draw. Are they going to offer or they are just going to repeat the move? So, okay, this is the only game left. So, after this game uh, ends in a draw, we should get our winners, the main winners, not the category winners. Category winners, I have to uh, uh, check and uh, announce. Okay, and what are okay? The actual is uh, on four and a half. Good. Mungada came first with uh, five and a half point out of six. Yatiraj and uh, Yash tied uh, on the points basis, but on the tie break, uh, Yati came uh, second and Yash came third. So, hearty congratulations to all the winners and all the participants, and thank you very much to all the viewers. I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, tournament of Gurukul Chase Academy. So I am Rishikesh Chavan, PIDA instructor and Arena International Master. See you next time. Thank you very much.